want to redraw a particular drawing and rather than going surveying it, the client has given you a set of drawings. He wants me to um, use this to start off some design work and what I've done is I've gone and found um, via the local portal, the planning portal, a set of plans that were originally put up and they're in PDF format. So I've downloaded these plans and I've imported them into my machine and what I want to do now is to import them into Vectorworks so I can trace over them quickly um, to get something on paper that well, on, onto CAD so that I can show the client and discuss the layout with him. Now what I've done is I've made a, a brand new sheet up so there's nothing there really and what I'll do is I'll go file import import PDF now as you can see I downloaded quite a bit there existing plans is the one I want I don't want to do the reference, I just want to import it in. It's only a single layer PDF. So let's bring that in. Now there's the drawing as you can see. Now what I'll do is just the one floor that I'm particularly interested in here. Now the first thing we do is to try and work out the longest line so we can work out whether things are vertical and horizontal. Now what I've done there is to take the centre line of the wall that's been put on. Now as you can see, it's slightly askew a little bit. So what we need to do is to go onto your, your pointer, make sure you highlight the, the object that you've just imported in, the PDF file. I want to use the rotate button, and I want to do that there as best as I can, and go right down to the bottom. The longest line, the better. Jonathan's always going on about this and click there and click there now that is a vertical drawing nicely done pretty sweet let's just test one of the horizontals and let's particular test that one there and take that across yes i'm happy with that that's good enough to import now what i need to do is to rescale the drawing so that it is um, a reasonable fit now if you look down here, the original draftsman, bless him, has put down the dimension 6 meters 640 from that point there to that point there. Now what I need to do is to click on the two as best as you can, as accurately as you can, and just see which one is the better one. Now at the moment it's scaling 13 meters 232. So what I need to do is to go into point again click the drawing behind to make sure it's the object selected go into modify scale object now it's symmetric by distance that I'm looking for now the current distance is 13232 13232 I want the new distance to be 6 meters 640 don't do that and I'll show you why later on in another exercise and you certainly don't want to do entire drawing. Believe me, I've fell to that mistake once or twice. And it does the whole drawing, not just the sheet you're on. So, OK, press OK. And the drawing is now rescaled. Let's get rid of that old dimension and go back into the drawing. And just look and see what we've got here now. Now, it's a bit smaller, obviously, because it was twice as big. And let's just go over here and measure this one again as accurately as you can one of the problems with PDFs is that the lines are usually um, quite blurred and sometimes they're a little bigger than you need but 6 meters 646 6 meters 640 I'm not going to worry too much that 6 millimeters is probably just me being inaccurate choosing the line let's just check the the long dimension we've got up here because he's put one on here, bless him. And all the way down to there. And I reckon that's my nine meters, nine meters two hundred and 94, 9 meters 240. So it's 40 mil out in the long run. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see whether it makes any difference to it. So I'm going to rescale it again. So let's do that one. Select the background. Put down Modify. Scale Object. Now the current distance is 9 meters 294. 9 meters 294. And the new distance should be... Nine meters two hundred and forty. Nine meters two hundred and forty. Let's see what happens. Don't want to save that at the moment. Let's just take that off and go on to the nine meters two hundred and forty and see if it's, whether it's any better. Choose the scale and let's zoom in a little bit just to get it a little bit accurate as best as you can. And what I've done there is to come down, press shift to get it vertical as best as you can and let's do that and the new dimension is 9 meters 251 that's a little better, more happier with that let's just check the horizontal to see what's happened here again we're looking for 6 meters 640 and let's just choose that there 6 meters 610, I'm 30 mil out, so I'm better off as it was. So I'm not going to change that now, that's good enough for me um, for this particular exercise until I've gone on and uh, started to trace. Now, what I'll do normally is it's on the existing ground floor. What I'll do is I'll do tools, organize, I'll go here and I'll um, edit, and I'll make a new one and I'll call it X. Existing ground um, PDF. Now let's just check where it is. Tools organized, go back in again. It's too high, it's above the drawing that I'm trying to um, put it on, the, the sheet that I'm trying to draw onto. Let's put it underneath so I can see through and see what's going on. Okay, we're happy with that. Let's just have a quick look here. That's fine. Let's double click on that one to take it in. Click onto the main sheet that I've imported. And let's go down and say it needs to go onto, not on the class, we want it on that one. I want it onto the existing PDF file. So now when I go to my navigation and go onto my design sheets and activate, I only want to see not all of these, I want to see those two only and I want to do show and snap others, I don't want to touch it now what I can do is I can go into my zero and what I'll do is I'll just make it red because to be honest drawing white lines with um, black on black doesn't particularly work and if I start now I can trace it up and I can get you have to be as best as you can here, but at least you're putting something onto drawing. And I can start to trace up this drawing. Um, and as you can see, I can see the red lines already drawn on. And um, believe me, sometimes this is a great way of just getting quickly a drawing into the CAD. Um, so you can go and check it on site. Hope that's interesting for you. Um, certainly it's been useful for me for a couple of times but be wary of it as you can see it can be a little inaccurate always use it as a check go and measure it properly on site when you have the chance cheers